Okay, let's uh, look at your physics coach. Chapter 5 on vectors, kinematics and vectors. Let's look at exercise chapter 5, number 15. And I'm going to go to the back and do, I'm going to do number 2. Uh, and it's a Ducati monster. And so I wore my Ducati sweatshirt. Uh, okay, now let's start this off with a quote. You know how I like the quotes. So, two, how about two? How about effort is your responsibility? And my effort is my responsibility. And the other one is write down what you know. When you're problem solving, when you want to know something, then write down what you do know. You don't know what you don't know so don't look for an answer lay out what you know when you've got these puzzles so let's do this shall we now I want to point out that in two dimensions that's what we need vectors for right we've got right, we're talking about motion we've got time change in time then we've got the X position and the Y position the change in x position and the change in y, the displacement in the x direction, the displacement in the y direction, the velocity in the x, the velocity in the y. So you've got one velocity, but it can have some parts. You have a displacement from an earlier to a later, but that displacement has some amount in the x direction, whatever you called x, and some amount in the y direction. You've got a velocity in any instant, freeze, and that velocity has some amount in the x, some amount in the y, acceleration, some amount in the x, some amount in the y. You'll see a lot of our puzzles, problems, we will choose coordinates so that one of these is zero, and then the other has all the acceleration. That's common, but that's the game. So let's lay this out. Let's write down what we know. And I hope you can see that clearly enough. If not, I will redo this. So what does it say? On your Ducati Monster, you first ride on a straight stretch of Highway 12, uh, which is a real highway, for 11.3 miles in a direction of 22 degrees west of north. That's 22 degrees toward west from north. Start from north, rotate 22 degrees toward west. Okay, so that's kind of telling me that the coordinates that I'm going to want, not, not kind of, it is telling me that the coordinates that I want to use are the north and south, east and west. And so typically, we will use these coordinates. Now all these are horizontal. I can rotate this board flat, um, but I'm drawing it here. So this is my plus y direction, which is north or I could write north plus y, and that's typical. So that would mean that south is my negative y direction. And plus x is east, and again, that's a common choice. You could do whatever, and then of course west would be in the negative x direction. Okay, so we've got that. Now we've got to interpret this. So uh, hopefully you read that quickly already and you've tried it some, maybe got stuck, or just verifying that you did the right thing. In the preliminary edition, I didn't have all the solutions that I do in the first edition. So I didn't, so that first edition is out now. All right, what does this mean? So I've got a displacement you know, of 11.3 miles in the 22 direction, 22 degrees west of north. So I'm going to write down what I know. Now, I, I did look at this ahead of time, and I said, okay, I'm going to go 11.3 uh, miles, and then uh, I'm going to go 33.1 miles. So that's three times longer. And then 22.2. .2. Yeah, that was by design one, two, three times, three lengths. So I'm gonna to try to get this on the board nicely. I also got that I went west of north 
and then I head down uh, south of west, okay, and then I'm gonna go uh, south of east. I kind of have a sense, now you may not, so you'll scribble on the page a little bit until you figure out where to start your picture. So let's start this picture, okay? So I'm going to uh, start, I'll be red, I'm gonna start here. That's my state one. Just make sure you're thinking that. It's a way of thinking, right? And then I'm going to head uh, 22 degrees west of north. So I'm going to draw this. And you can put your, remember that coordinate system is a grid on this, on this paper. So it's just a, it's a grid. And... Um, and you can think of this as just, you know, I've done it this way, okay? So it'd be nice if I had green and blue, but it's a grid. So I can say I'm going 22 degrees west of north. That is from north. Here's north. See how slowly I write down what I, what I know? From north, I go 22 degrees to the west side. Ah, to the west side. That's over here. Okay. Now, I'm presuming that I, I go, oh, straight stretch of highway. It says it. I don't have to presume it. Straight, straight stretch. Of, I got to read it again to, to get out what I know. I know it's a straight stretch of highway and I'm going to go 22. So make sure you don't draw 45 degrees unless it's 45 because you want to be able to see a bigger angle and a smaller angle. Okay, so I'm going to go here, and I know I'm going to do three times as long at some point, so I'm going to go here. I think I'm going to just going to use that. Do I want a fist? Maybe I'll do that. I'll try that out. Okay, I'm not going to get a protractor out. I could. You could. All right, state two. And I'm going to show my angle here. From there to there, going west from north, how much? 22 degrees. Now, getting a tenth of a degree, that's a pretty fine uh, precision with an angle. So I'm not, I'm not sure I'd go better than that, but that's about what I got. All right. Until you re reach an intersection. I don't need to draw that. At the intersection, you should turn onto Highway 49 and head out. While this stretch of road is nice and curvy and fun, you end up having traveled 33 degrees south of west. Now here's, here's something that you might not realize. Is, again, you can put this grid at the tail of where you started here, and now I'm at two, and you can put that grid up there again. And so let me put the grid up there. So I went here to here. I want to make a little arrow here. I went from one to two. And now, what was that again? I got to go back and read it. Oh, yeah. 33 degrees south of west. So south from west. So let's see. I'm going to go here. This would be east. This is west. But 33 degrees towards south. 33 degrees towards south. So I'm going to go this way. A little bigger angle, but it's kind of... Uh, that probably should have been smaller. I'm not doing this perfectly because I could. Again, you could get her out of a protractor and a ruler, and then your measurement should look pretty good to your, to your calculation. Now, I said, so that's the angle, 30 to 3 degrees towards south from west, or south of west. South of west. And so I did this. That was 11. That was 11.3 or whatever. I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to go along this line three times. Oops. Ah. 
and use red for my total. Uh, let's go here. 33 is less than 45, right? So one, ah, two, three. Wow, that was close. Um, and, I, and, and I'm not doing it perfectly, so I'm just going to go out to here or something like that. I know that's not, not perfect, but that's fine. So 33 degrees south of west. It's kind of cool. We're laying out the puzzle pieces. It's a fun puzzle. Um, 33.1 miles from the intersection. So it's a curvy road, right? The road itself is curvy, but that's where you end up, according to this. So whatever, you know, just realize that you head out and you go like that and whatever. And you end up there. All right, so that's state three. Let's not forget to identify these. That's my state three. And then what do you do? As the crow flies. Okay, you're now at the intersection of Highway 4. You turn and your next displacement puts you 22.2 miles. So about twice that. Um, 37 degrees south of east. South, see, I knew that, having read it ahead, I knew that east was going to be heading this way. So I put my grid on top of here. You put your coordinate system, right? There's my coordinate system. Put it right on top. Right? You put your coordinate system right on top there your grid, and then I'm going to go 37 degrees south of east. East is here, right? East, west, east, and 37 degrees toward south from west. So I'm going to go, I don't know, something like this, right? This is not perfect. 37 degrees, and I go like 22-ish. One, two, ah, ah. All right, one, two, put a dot there, use a ruler, don't just, you know, get a ruler out, it comes out nicer, but I don't, I'm not doing that, you're doing the actual problem, right? So there's the sketch, I'm not going to complete this, by the way. I'm going to set you up. So I've got 37 degrees towards south from west, from east. 37 degrees south of east. Um, and I've got the, the 22 point, you know, you could put that on here, 22.2 miles, because I don't want to keep going back to that uh, 33.1 miles. 33.1, oh, that's horrible. Miles, make it so you can read it. Talking to myself. And 11.3, that's 11. Uh, whatever, 11.3 miles there. All right, cool. What do I want? What's your total displacement from your gloriously fun ride? Show the steps. All right, you want to know the total displacement, finish it off. Do it all. Great. I'm done with that, I think. If I'm missing something, I'll go back to it. And so what are we at? 14 minutes. Now, so how do I do this? Well, I go back up here. This is what I'm looking for. How much delta X and how much delta Y? And the great thing about this is, let's pull that in so you can really maybe have it be bigger. Okay. All right. Now the great... Uh, Timber. How's that? All right. So the idea is you're going to use trig. We're going to use the table like you see in the book. But what I'm going to add up, remember the old grid method? Lines parallel to the y direction through the tail, tip and tail. And I've got it right there, right? And there's my triangle. So this tells me how much 
I move in the x direction, I could call that delta x 1 to 2. How much is that? Hypotenuse, angle, side opposite the angle, it's the same over here. So 11.3 times the sine of 22 degrees, but that's in the negative direction. Now I'm going to do this kind of, mm, I should do this on a nice table, but let me just put this up for you. I see that it's in the negative direction. It's going to be the total, put the units, and then I should insert in there times sine of 22 degrees. Now I'm not going to do them all, but I hope you can see that. And how much is that going in the y direction? Well, again, from the tail up to the tip. So you can use either side, it doesn't matter. And you're gonna see that it's in the positive direction. It's the total times, well, it's adjacent to the angle, so cosine of 22 degrees. And you, you'll make a table that'll help train your thinking in your mind. And then I go with this next one and I say, oh, well, let's see, grid. Let me just grid it real fast. Just get in that habit because it's gonna help you. If you start shortcutting things, you're not really training your mind. This 33.1 miles uh, went in the negative x direction. Ooh, wrong color. Doesn't matter. Negative and in the negative y direction. Right? And it doesn't matter which side. So if you want the total in the x, you got this negative and this negative, that amount. And then you've got this. Oh, what do I do here? Oh, grid method. Grid method, do the tail and tip, put my coordinates on top of there. I got a box. I can see that I'm going to have a positive delta x here. This times the cosine. And I can see that I continue to have a, I had a positive delta y, a, that, that was, goes with this guy, right? Then this one goes all the way down to here. Better go over here. Just look. Just get, you know, not, it's not in your head. I can see, oh, this much negative, positive delta y, negative delta y, and a negative delta y. Add those up and add all the blue ones, and you've got a column of delta x's and delta y's, displacements, right? And so you add up the delta x from 1 to 2, delta x from 2 to 3, the delta x from 3 to 4. That gives you the total. Same with the y. Then you've got a total, dot, 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 and dot, dot, dot. You've got delta x 1 to 4, and delta y 1 to 4. Where is that on here? Well, what a mess. But, and maybe I'll just clean it up because you can see it. One to four. It's going to be here. Make it orange. Right? Which has some amount in the y direction, that, and some amount in the x direction. That's going to be this. And so I can see this. How much is the orange? That squared plus that squared square root, or whatever order, doesn't matter. What's the angle? Well, which angle do you want? You want that angle? That's fine. That would be which, how would I describe that? Toward south from west. South of west. Or I can give the complementary angle going west from south. Those two will just be will add up to 90 degrees. So if you have one, it doesn't matter which one you use. And that's how you do it. All right? That's how you deal with vectors. And you can deal with any vectors, not just displacement, but displacement's nice and concrete. You can add and subtract velocity vectors. You will add and subtract force vectors quite a lot. So use the table, go back to that. I know this way of talking about angles, 22 degrees, what, what is that? Oh, it's from north towards west, west from
from north. That would be west of north. Okay. So that's, that's how you do that. And just practice. And you've got it. Ciao.